What's up y'all and welcome back to the Station Bakery. Today I have a fun tip for you all. We've all been there. You're done with the cake and you have all of this extra buttercream left over. What do you do with it? Sometimes we take it, we bag it up, and we freeze it only for it to never be used again. But today, I'm going to be sharing a tip with you on how to store your leftover buttercream in a way that'll make it easy for you to just pull out and use in the future. No more wasted buttercream around here. For this hack, what you're going to need is some form of a Ziploc plastic bag. You'll also need some form of plastic wrap a scraper, preferably plastic, and of course, some leftover buttercream from all of your hard caking work. <laughs> you have your big bag full of extra buttercream. It's actually kind of like two hacks in one, so I'm really excited to share this with you. All right, so you see here we have this bag full of buttercream. We don't want this to go to waste. This is perfectly good buttercream that can still be used. So. Let's store it in a way to where it can still be used. We're just gonna set this to the side for now. Okay, now the rest of this, we're going to take our scrunched up bag and you want to spread it out. And shout out to Jessica from Jessica's Dessert Studio. This is where I've seen this hat. So we're going to stretch this out, make sure that it's nice and straight, as straight as possible, of course. And we're going to use our scraper. And starting here, we're just going to scoop and scrape all of this excess buttercream down into the bag. Look at that. Look at how smooth that works out. And so now we no longer have to waste all this excess up here. You can get, you know, very technical and detailed with it if you would like and get all of this, but I'm not gonna get my hands dirty like that and I'm just gonna work with what is here. So we're just scraping that down and we're going to smooth that, keep smoothing it until all the air and all of the space is filled. Look, look at all of that buttercream that we would have missed out on if we would have just left it in the bag like that. Okay. So this next step is pretty cool as well. So we're just gonna sit that right there. We are going to take our plastic wrap and we are going to spread this out and lay it out flat onto our counters, tabletops, whatever you're using. Okay, and I'm just going to take just like that. All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take this buttercream and we are going to squeeze it in a line right here on top of this plastic wrap, just like so. Okay, so now I'm going to open this up again and I'm going to use my scraper to scrape down more because we're going to try to save as much of this buttercream as we can. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do with this coupler, okay, I'm going to take my finger and see how I've gripped this, I've twisted it and I'm gripping it and I'm going to push it inside of here to help push out you see that buttercream. Again, just trying to scrape out as much as possible. Okay. Now you can stop here, you can leave this as is, or you can go keep going and scraping it out. You can even cut this out and scrape out the excess if you like but I'm pretty happy with how much I've gotten out of it so far. So I'm going to call this a day. So here we have all of our buttercream and now we're going to pull this side over, press it down to kind of seal it in, pick it up by the two sides and just let it roll. Okay, 
pinch. You're going to pinch the bottom and twist. Okay. Same thing over here, pinch and twist. Try to get some of those air bubbles out. And there you have it. So what I'm gonna do with this is you can just place it in your freezer like this, but just because of me, I'm going to place it inside of this freezer bag just as another layer of protection. And then as I acquire more buttercream, I will be able to place it inside of the same bag as well. And it's just an extra layer of freshness protection. All right, zip that up. And it is ready to go into the freezer for future use. Boom, bam, bim, pow. All right, you guys, so it has been about two weeks since I bagged up our frozen buttercream, our leftover blue buttercream. And guess what? Your girl has a cake that I am going to use this on. So I took this out of the freezer a couple of hours ago. This was to let it thaw and come back to room temperature. So if you can see here, it's defrosted and it is now ready to be used. So let's see how it works out. So yeah, so here it is. And now I am going to cut off the tip of this and then drop it into my piping bag. Okay, so I'm simply cutting off the very edge. Okay, so now there's an opening and I'm going to drop this here into my piping bag. If you're going to use this to pipe like a border or something, you wanna put in your piping tip first and then drop this in. But because I'm just using this to ice the outside of the cake, I'm just gonna drop it directly in. All right, so in it goes and now I need to cut this off. Right, and now we are ready. We are now ready to pipe onto our cake. And I'll give you a little, a little glimpse of what that looks like. 